Hello again, folks. This is Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. I'm your host, Wade Rush, and of course, all of you recognize this guy. This is my nephew, Josh. Uh, we're going to be talking about video equipment that we use today, guys, so stand by. Folks, whenever we are in the woods videoing or trying to take pictures of whatever's going on, we use everything in our arsenal to try to get some great shots for you guys. The uh, Right down to my phone, that is a Samsung Mega. It, uh, I'll have demo of, uh, of the videos and the pictures that these things take. I will post them all through the video while we're uh, discussing this stuff here, guys. Uh, various this is called a spider tripod these things are universal we can hang stuff in on limbs of trees and bushes fence posts uh, all kinds of, uh, of possibilities with stuff like that and we've got I'm, uh, I'm videoing here with the with the Sony camera I'll post model number and all that on here this camera does have my best video and audio this camera um, films in full 1080p high definition and records in surround sound uh, they, with your with a good decoding software or video editing software and I will post what I use here I use a power director 12 and a Roxio 2011 uh, programs to edit our videos and we, we use them in tandem this is a new addition Hammer picked me up a GoPro 3 for Christmas this year, and it hasn't had a trial by fire. I've already got it set up. I've been wearing it on my head, squirrel hunting and stuff like that. There'll be some videos coming soon, but we haven't really tested it all that much. Captain Buster and Josh both have the Sony action camera for gun cameras. That's what the gun camera setup looks like on Josh's camera. Josh has just got a knack for instincts of being in the right place, hanging the cameras in the right spot. He's just, he's got a lot of natural instincts when it comes to that stuff. But, uh, alright folks, here, I'm going to post some videos and some pictures from this, uh, from these different pieces of equipment that we use here identifying it. One last thing before I do that, don't scrimp on your media, guys. Media is extremely important cheap media will fail on you we have found out through experience over the years we don't scrimp on the media anymore get the good stuff Toshiba Sony SanDisk Ultra Samsung we've a uh, PNY WinTech all of that works good all right guys view hope you enjoy viewing the video segment here I'll touch base with you whenever it's all over with The HM6 is touch screen enabled, uh, where you can bring up the menu and all that just via the uh, touch screen tools. That's a great little addition whenever you're in the deer stand, buddy, I tell you. Oh, 
something's coming out. This, you know, I hope the camera will focus on. But this, uh, the Sony is the HDR PJ230. That's what I've been using for the last couple of years. This has been a great little camera. You're going to find this camera for, you can get deals on it, $200, $250, One of our favorite setups this year guys was this flash bar set up that you can mount on your tripod any tripod quarter inch mount screws on here and when we're standing on those dirt roads and paved roads and uh in areas where you want to catch a big panoramic view of what's going on in front of you you can set up two cameras on this flash bar and aim them wherever you want to go, wherever you want to, in opposite directions. We we use this double camera setup. Josh did a lot on the dog drives. Use this double camera setup to catch stuff, uh, catch really good audio, and especially really good video. Whenever you don't know wh whether the deer is going to come out on your east or your west, you know. So this was a great little addition to what we were doing this year. The Sony Action Camera. Josh and Captain Buster have given these things a workout here these last couple of seasons, especially uh, late this past season. My buddy Mike Harris with Mike Harris Outdoors. If you haven't checked out his channel, guys, check him out. If you love watching dog drives, uh, deer drives with hounds, that joker has got a great channel. But he was asking where were the gun cameras, and we just quite honestly guys we, we get real busy with a lot of this stuff and captain buster and josh just hadn't thought about putting the gun cameras on the, the shotguns till about halfway through the season but boy when they got to using them they got some good stuff watch this
go down. Once Captain Buster and Josh get the the gun cam set up on their shotguns, they just leave them on there all year. You see this hard shell case, top just pops off, allows you to slide your camera in and out of there, just like that. Okay, that's going to probably be difficult. Let me see if I can do this with one hand to show you. It just opens up like this, and the camera camera comes right out, guys. But I got one hand, pick it up, and the camera slides right out. So they just leave it on there all year. So they just charge the batteries and slide the camera in and out of this case on the side of the shotgun. These spider tripods, as they're called, grabber spider tripods. These things are excellent in the woods. Josh and I really started using them a lot towards the end of the season. And uh, yeah, look at some of the clips that we got. Um, hanging some of these cameras in the trees. Well, there you have it folks that's a wrap on the video equipment that we use hope you enjoyed the video until next time this has been a production of Bubba Round Tree Outdoors I'm your host Wade Rush always remember God gave us all of this creation so get out there and enjoy it bye bye